నమస్తే ఎవరి వన్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద టీచర్ మిస్టర్ వి ప్రశాంత్ కుమార్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ గ్రేడ్ టెన్ జానర్ పోయట్రీ బ్రాంచ్ ఎస్పీవియన్ రాజమండ్రి లర్నింగ్ అవుట్కమ్స్ టు రియలైజ్ దట్ ఆల్ యానిమల్స్ విల్ బీ హ్యాపీ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ దేర్ న్యాచురల్ హ్యాబిటెట్ టు ఎనేబుల్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రీడమ్ టు అప్రిషియేట్ ద పోమ్ అండ్ లిటరీ డివైజెస్ Let's quickly review on the word of the day. Words in focus. Stark is a verb. Starked. Past tense form of the verb. Starked. Past participle form of the verb. Starking. Present participle form of the verb. Let's learn the meaning of the word. To move stealthily or quietly towards prey or a target. Typically in a deliberate and calculated manner. To have an example. The hunter stalked prey through the forest trying to remain quiet. The detective stalked the evidence and looked for the clues. Children, try to answer these questions. Where do you think all animals would like to live? In the zoo or in the forest? And why? Second question. What do you think the animals in the zoo must be feeling? do they feel sad or happy if they are sad how can you let them free from the cage think on it children we have an image here by seeing this animal can you guess the title of the lesson or poem if not i'll give you it is a tiger in the zoo Introduction of the Poet and Poem The poem was written by Leslie Norris explains the agony and the helplessness of a caged tiger that lives in a zoo The poet explains what his life could be if he had been a free animal The poet has tried to explain about the condition of animals that are caged by human beings for their own fun The summary of the poem The poem begins with a description of a tiger that is very beautiful and is walking in his little cage. He has beautiful stripes on his skin and has velvet like soft paws. But the tiger is not happy and is quite angry about being confined in the cage. The poet says that if the tiger was not confined in the zoo cage, he would have been hiding himself behind the long grass near some water body in order to catch its prey that is the deer also he would have terrorized the residents of the villages around the forest area but the reality is totally opposite to this he was confined in a cage which was made of strong building material and he was helpless there he could not show his power to the visitors therefore never try to terrorize them the tiger is described as being powerless and agonized by that poet he says that during night also he is alone hearing the voice of uh, patrolling vehicles of police and looking at the stars the cage life has totally changed the tiger's personality The poet is trying to say that the animal which is famous for its fearlessness and freedom is confined and sad due to the human beings who want to derive pleasure by looking at him in the zoo cage the poetic devices that are used in the poem alliteration repetition onomatopoeia etc all the stanzas of the poem have the same rhyme scheme a b c b children let us read the first stanza of the poem he stalks in his vivid stripes the few steps of his cage on the pads of velvet quite in his quite rage now we can understand the first word he he refers to the tiger which has been captured and caged in a and put in a zoo that you can also see the other meaning vivid stripes stripes is uh, just uh, the pattern on his skin so different patterns would be there on skin of the tiger that you can see 
So the poet says here that the zoo tiger moves around in his cage under his brightly colored skin. He goes on to say that the tiger can only take a few steps because the cage is small and difficult to move around in it because there is less space. His footsteps are unheard because he has very soft feet like velvet. You can see his feet is so soft that is called paws. And there is no sound of the tiger's footsteps. That's what it can easily hunt his prey. The tiger attempts to control his rage by quietly walking around the confines of his cage. You can also see he has a lot of anger but he cannot show it to anybody since it is captured. He is irritated because of uh, he is not free. That you can understand this. Let's try to understand the meaning of this stanza. He should be lurking in shadow. He refers to tiger as you all know that. Lurking is uh, just wait or follow somebody secretly. And the shadow is we can understand under shade of the trees etc. To follow his uh, prey. So let us uh, have a look at this. Uh, the poet says that if, the, if this tiger was free, he would have hid himself behind the long grass near the water body so that he could have easily catch a deer in order to have its prey as its uh, food. Generally, we know that uh, its basic uh, instinct nature is to hunt animals and have as its prey. And uh, basically, the poet wants to say that the, that the tiger lives in jungle where he could catch his prey and eat it. But the tiger in the zoo cannot do it so. You can also know that the deer, uh, they come to water bodies to have water. It lurks there and hunts them and eat. But it was uh, its free life and enjoys. But while uh, you can understand the caged tiger, it cannot have any sort of fun or have food heartily. So children, so far we have gone through two poems or two stanzas. The first one is about the caged tiger. The second one is which is in its natural habitat. Now your turn. The third, fourth, fifth stanzas are to be read by you or recited by you. And identify the rhyming words and rhyme scheme as well. We shall also discuss the poetic devices. So. You just go through the poem and read or recite one by one. I would like to just recite the three, the leftover stanzas and then you can go through. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, bearing his white fangs, his claws terrorizing the village. The next stanza. But he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring the visitors. He hears the last voice at night, the patrolling cars, and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. Children, now you can go through the entire poem and identify the rhyming words and literary devices. And we shall discuss and answer the questions. Thank you. Have a good day.